as you look at the motions of traditional yang style tai chi, all of these motions are performed as a flowing, continuous sequence. All of the motions of traditional yang style tai chi, and indeed all of the traditional tai chi forms in China, are based on offensive and defensive martial art techniques. But over the course of the last 300 years in China, these martial techniques have been refined. The motions have been slowed down. And in many cases, in the modern era, Taiji practice is practiced by millions of people who have no interest in the martial applications. What they are interested in is creating a sense of ease, balance, and equilibrium in their daily lives. People get up in the morning in China and practice not only Tai Chi, but a variety of Qigong exercises with the purpose not of becoming Kung Fu killers, but for the purposes of self-cultivation. And what they're looking to do is to cultivate a feeling of ease, a feeling of balance, a feeling of equilibrium and that this ease, balance, and equilibrium that is expressed outwardly through the physical motions of Tai Chi is also experienced inwardly as a feeling of calm, cool, relaxed, yet energized motion. These motions of traditional Yang style Tai Chi now that I've started, I'm not going to do the whole thing because traditional long form Yang style, uh, half an hour of continuous slow motion. Yes? Half an hour. All right? If it's practiced even slower, it goes 45 minutes. All of these motions have names. This is called brush knee and push left. This is called hands strum the lute. Okay? And all of these motions have application elements as well. Ben, <laughs> you're getting a workout today. All right, so let's just take a look at the opening motion. Uh, can I get you to stand like this? All right, so everybody from your seated position, do this motion. Palms up. This was the motion I had you doing. Palms down. Okay, I want you to throw a double punch like this. Go. Palms up and then palms down. Do you see that? Throw it slowly. Do you see the rising palm? Do you see the opening in the tiger's mouth? This is called the tiger's mouth. And then do you see the pull down? Okay. Now I want you right foot, right fist towards me, please. Transition to ward off left. Ward off left. Ward off left end position. This is not a good position for you, is it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. See a broken elbow in my feet. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is a very important point. Hold your position, please. Uh, many people, when they first see Tai Chi, say, oh, how can it be used as a martial art? It's so slow. It's like, and then, and then you say, oh, well, you want to fight me? Okay, punch me. Slower. <laughs> That's too fast. Throw your punch. Tai Chi is meant to create a reflexive action. In the face of incoming attacks, the, the player remains calm, centered, and focused. Tai Chi is not used as a long energy. What I do is I create this joint lock. Pull your arm out, please. And then I explode the energy through the body. Right? Now you can see, I'm not going to break your arm, I promise. <laughs> you can see that already his joints are in a bad position. Do you see what I'm saying? Now withdraw your arm. Looking at the yin-yang process, if yang is up and yin is down, do you see how this combined force? If I just go up, if I go here, you see he's in a world of hurt, right? Right. Okay, right, uh, left foot, left fist towards me. So there are a variety of motions here. Roll back, press, throw your double punch, separate arms, push. Thank you. Uh, and you can see, give the guy a hand, geez. So you can see that the motions of the Taiji forms have been refined 
to the point now where they are practiced by millions of people, not for martial purposes, but for self-cultivation purposes, health purposes, relaxation. Mainly, a lot of people practice Tai Chi for stress reduction and uh, various benefits from that. But can you see that the shapes that I'm making are derived from martial arts motions. So this is the difference between traditional Taiji and progressive Taiji. Uh, progressive Taiji, uh, especially in America, uh, it's, uh, you know, the, oh, I'm moving slowly. I love Taiji. It's so relaxing. But you see, I got serious problems with my body positioning here. So these traditional frames preserve the internal energy intent and they preserve the external martial intent. Does this, is this clear? So this is what uh, Tai Chi is about as a martial art and as a um, A way of life. I mean, I don't, I don't want to go all, uh, I don't want to go all mystical on you here. The thing about traditional Asian physical culture is that it's very practical, very practical, very practical, and it's ecumenical. That means that you don't need to be a member of a certain religious belief to practice Asian physical culture exercises because it's all about energy. It's all about the fundamental energy of the cosmos and how we can bring the fundamental energy of the cosmos into the body for a variety of purposes. Traditionally, these energy development exercises were used in five main areas of traditional Asian culture, these so-called five excellences. Energy development and cultivation exercises were practiced by people pursuing medical profession, scholarly professions, artistic poetical professions, military professions, and religious professions. These so-called five excellences. The five excellences were meant to be developed by all people of culture in Asia. And that if you wanted to be a well-rounded individual, you had to have a uh, facility with all of five excellences. And they are medical, scholarly, poetic, or artistic, religious, and military. Okay? So, all right. Uh, I'd like to get you to stand up.